Um, I have not decided whether or not I'm going to join the Ukraine Foreign Legion. It's completely volunteer, so we will not be getting paid. We're going because we want to. You can't put a price on somebody's life. My process for wanting to fight for Ukraine was the innocent women and children, specifically, who were getting more or less, I would say, slaughtered. Mentally, it just hurts mentally. Sitting there and like watching from a screen. Me and uh, another Marine were talking about this situation. Russian military forces move further into Ukraine. Outgunned Ukrainian forces, desperate. Russian troops marching civilians through Kyiv at gunpoint. We miss that military lifestyle. And not the military lifestyle in garrison, but the lifestyle of like being overseas, doing something that's bigger than yourself. We kind of just dropped the hammer and said, let's go. You got me acting out, you. All tenderness is out the window. What you do to me when the cold buys blue. I did six years in the Marine Corps. I was an infantryman. I did two combat deployments to Afghanistan. I served with the sniper platoon for about six months. Joined back the ranks with the other O3s and went to Japan. I'm not the biggest fan of the government itself. I'm not opposed to it. But the destruction that we left for a war that I didn't completely agree with and for what they kind of entertained us to believe, I saw a lot of innocent people kind of get left stranded. Now it's kind of like a, a redemption to help those that get left stranded. They came down to shelter just for the night, but that was two months ago. Homes now destroyed, but the fear of the bombs remaining. Most have nowhere to go. Who am I? I am a man that is always seeking experience. I just started doing the things that I felt was right. And mentally, that really got my life in check. And right now, this is wholeheartedly what I think is the right thing to do with my life. Now, my family, my friends, they're all supportive. They just want me to be safe. My dad, on the other hand, He's a little disappointed in a sense of he thinks that I am throwing away my MMA career. Constant pressure. You will have to kill Lightweight champion, Craig Branch. Wow. When I was a kid, my dad was a Golden Gloves boxer. He used to teach me how to box in the basement. After that, we decided that, you know, I wanted to start doing more mixed martial arts. So we started putting the boxing, the kickboxing, the jujitsu, and the Muay Thai together. That's it. I mean, the rest is history. I've just been training ever since. So my dad isn't really like, he's like, oh man, you're throwing away your MMA for this. And what if you don't come back? It's a chance we always have to take. What if, what if we don't come back? But fearing that end result is only gonna hinder me. I don't want fear to control my life. A lot of people ask if I get scared before I jump in the cage. Fear is a limiting factor for everybody. If you fear the results, chances are you're not gonna fulfill what you're trying to be successful in. And that's a mental battle you have to play with yourself. My biggest fear I would say is not doing enough. Living a stagnant life. If you don't have something to move forward on or progress in, what's the purpose? stayed here for a while because things were being very successful and my life was progressing very fast with MMA, all the things that I wanted to accomplish. Fortunately, it's time to go again and keep that progression.